years ago today, Charlene Downs went missing from Blackpool. She was last seen at a kebab house in Dixon Road. The police have got 52 tape recorded discussions between the people who own the shop, formerly known as Mr. Bean. These people were bragging about the fact that they had murdered a young girl and put her in a kebab. Crown Prosecution Service made a mess of the case and they walked free. And they got half a million pounds compensation as well. And your tax money. Wake up to what's going on in your own town. Well, we're here in Dixon Road in Blackpool. Uh, the street here immediately behind us we've got Mario's which in several different guises is the place run by and everyone here still believes still owned and run by the alleged killers of Charlene Downs and allegedly the multiple groomers of many other girls frankly I think it's a disgrace that with accusations like that around it's still open but uh, at present it is uh, I'm here with Karen Downs Charlene's mum obviously it's a hard day for you it's, it's a very, very difficult day for me today, but what's helping is the fact that all this support and help for Charlene to get justice for her, and I, I'm just overwhelmed with all the support, I cannot believe it. Yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased, because, you know... It's, you know, just, I, really, I'm speak, I just don't know what to say, I just can't put it into words. Right, well, really it's, it's been today. we can only really be here and effective because you're here, I'm, and we really do appreciate yeah. what you're doing. Not just for Charlene, I know, but for but other girls, other families, other girls as, as we discussed. As well, of course. Yeah, of course. sure. Well, this awareness certainly yeah. will, I'm sure, hit I mean, the papers again. Yeah, we got so. some really good coverage from the interview just that you and I did. In terms of getting the message across. Hang on. So, some sp it spontaneous <laughs> support there. <laughs> yeah. So, what's the, what's the plan now? Well, it's a, as you know, it's our anniversary today, eight years today, and we're doing this protest today in support of Charlene, and later on we're going to the, to the dedicated memorial bench and laying a, well, BM, the kindly BMP party and Elena Reith and we're laying a bunch of eight red roses every year, a, a rose for every year she, she has disappeared right. before death. I okay. thought that would be very poignant. I think it's very, very yeah. poignant, very effective. Well, everyone here, um, we've been out campaigning earlier on, uh, people here, we've had teams out all over uh, the centre of Blackpool. A lot of leaflets gone out. Uh, I know from talking to people, shaking hands, photographs, autographs, there's a lot of awareness uh, about the party in this town, about the issue in this town, about Charlene in this town. That's partly because of the work. You know, this would have been forgotten about if the police and the press had had their way. This is the work of um, Karen and her friends. Uh, members of the English Defence Defense League, League as well. I mentioned them because they've done a good job here. Casuals United. Casuals too. United. And, your, of course, your good selves. and the British National Party. It's a joint effort because whatever our differences in different organisations or non organisation, we all feel passionately about this issue about getting justice for Charlene, justice for Paige Shivers, and justice for all the other girls. Yeah. And also, really important, getting the message out so that other girls, never other kids, yeah. other families. And never suffer the same thing don't have it to suffer the same thing. Thank you very much. You know how people like that get property empires? Yeah. Yep, because there's another, there's a parallel problem to grooming in this country, and that's the heroin epidemic, the heroin jihad being waged against our community yes. and our young people. And the police should be investigating whether that is the case here. I don't know whether it is or not. I'm merely saying that I couldn't get a property empire all over Blackpool, and nor can anyone else. And the amount of taxes that we pay and the low wages that people earn in this country, how the hell does any decent, honest, normal person build up a property empire in Blackpool? It's to me very, very curious. So that's what we're doing up here because this place and the place being renovated just down there, the locals say, is part of this empire. So whether it is, whether it isn't, that should be for the police to decide. But the police have failed dismally in this town, as they have all over the country to deal with this grooming menace because it's been going on for decades and the police have known it and the media elite have known it and the political elite have known it and they don't give a damn because it's only white working class kids and it's only Sikh working class kids and it's only West Indian working class kids and they don't give a toss about any of us the people who run this country it's as simple as that which is why we're, which is why that we're standing up together people from different organisations people from no organisation here in a day, giving up work if people are working, or giving up hard-earned to cash it 
to get here if people aren't working because we believe passionately, passionately that justice should be done for Charlene Downs. Justice should be done for Paige Shilvers. Justice should be done for all the other girls and the young boys who are victims of this appalling criminality by this one specific minority group. Letting us come together here in memory of Charlene Downs. Lord, you know what's happened to her. You know what's going on inside all of our hearts. And I ask in your precious name that you bring comfort to all the family and to all of us. Lord, I ask in Jesus' name that you please help intervene with your power and your glory to bring justice to Charlene and all the other girls who have come to similar fates in these circumstances. Move on now to the future and the, the fight for justice yes. for Charlene. We're going to be campaigning on this. I've talked with a number of the ladies here and in other places uh, about launching a, a group, a non-political group called ProFam, as in ProFamily which will seek to draw attention to this grooming crisis, this grooming scandal, and in particular the way in which the police and the media and the courts and the politicians are still trying to bury it and push it under the carpet. So we're going to be dealing with this. It's going to become, I hope, quite a big thing in due course. One of the key powers nowadays, of course, is social networking and being able to spread things over the internet. Uh, it means we've only got to draw people's attention to for instance, on a motorway bridge, justiceforcharlene.com. And because of social networking, because of the internet, people will look. So it's really important, this. But um, when I first met Karen, and she said, well, I'm not on the internet, and we had a struggle getting photographs and so on, I thought, well, we've got a bit of a problem here. So I hope that you won't mind we taking the liberty of buying you a laptop. No! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and the, the the technical guys, of which I am not one, assure me it's all internet enabled, it's all ready to go. I know that you're a computer whiz, so will you look after that for your mum, get it set up? Okay. Thank you. I'll never be able to thank you for this. I'll never be out of your debt. None of you could. Nonsense. Nonsense. Thank you so much. We and every family in this country are in your debt. No. Because of your guts in standing up, your courage exactly. in standing yeah, yeah. up. It's inspiring and it yeah, is making yeah. a difference. You're well yeah. done. Well done. Yeah, thank you. Any time. Thank, thank you so much. Justice yeah. for Charling. Yeah. Justice for Charling. Yeah. 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 Okay then. Finally, thank you everyone who's taken part today. Yeah. You know it's made a difference. <laughs> and it really is appreciated. Thanks to all my comrades and colleagues in the British National Party. Thanks to people from the English Defence League. Thanks to people from Blackpool, just family and friends, all together, all British, all standing up for what's right. Thank you. Safe journey home.